back deep to receive. Cole uh, Gerald on the far side. Kyle Christensen the near side. We are back now to a full 100 yard field. So that is one difference between the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Back to a regular field. Heidi Barber will get us underway as she's got it on the tee. And uh, and over end kickoff will be fielded up at the 35. And uh, hustling ahead with it is Evan Chang. And Chang out across the 45 to the 46 yard line. Or check that, that's Austin Gibson on the return. So first and 10 Golden Eagles from their 46 yard line. Golden Eagles coached by Andrew Adams the third, his son uh, Andrew the fourth on his Golden Eagles team. Cardinals coached by Ryan Apatowills. First down play, the option pitch comes back. Micah Sandhoffner is taken down for a short gain as a flag flies in. First play from scrimmage, we have a flag going against the Golden Eagles. Block in the back was the indication on the field. Not a good start here for the Golden Eagles. Get a penalty right off the bat, but see what they can do here. So after they step off the penalty, Ball moves back to the Golden Eagle 40 where it will be first and a 16. A 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. That's why first and 16 here. Out of the shotgun, it's quickly thrown out to the far side. Carter Whippler, Whippler to the corner, has some room down the sideline. He's got a first down 40 and caught from behind and taken down at about the 35 yard line. Whippler on the big game. Mokes on nice the run stop. after the catch there by Whippler to go down the sidelines for a big game for the Golden Eagles. A gain of 24 on the play. He's got the Golden Eagles first and 10 now at the Cardinal 36 yard line. He was chased down to that time uh, by Marshall Lokes. Back, and Ofner cuts it back up the middle, and he's across the 35 to the 33. Maybe down to the 32. A gain of four on the play. Second and six Lopes upcoming. On the stop. And then it's the first two games. Uh, you've already mentioned it. Uh, we saw 80 yard fields. We'll see a 100 yard field for this one. Uh, any other differences at the seventh grade level compared to what we've seen so far? Uh, another big difference would be when they punt um, in fourth, fifth, and se uh, sixth grade. You cannot rush the punter. In seventh grade, you are allowed to rush the punter. So you'll see that. Um, well, running weight, of course, we, we always have a running weight in seventh grade, and that's up a little bit more from the, from the sixth grade level. But uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Gerald to throw over the middle, deep post pattern, and that is uh, just off the mark for Trace Burton. Incomplete pass brings up third and six. Nicely thrown ball. Very nice. Nice spiral. Six. He's thrown backwards, looking for a hole and really not finding one that time. It's Kyle Christensen. He's banged down. Maybe a yard gain brings up fourth down. And not much there, not much running room for him on that uh, quick hit. So 
So fourth and six for the Golden Eagles. Already down to just 750 left to play in this opening quarter. Right, moving right along, yes. High snap, Gerald brings it down. Now just gonna try to run for it toward the corner, cuts back. Gerald is taken down very close to the first down marker. It looks like, I think he's got it, Dennis. I do too, I, yep, and the official did make the official call. It is first down. Nice run, real nice run, and almost a broken play there. Got around the outside. So a gain of seven for Cole. Gerald moves the trains, Golden Eagles with a fresh set of downs. First and 10 from the Cardinal 25 yard line. Nice opening drive here by the Golden Eagles. Almost eating up the first quarter here too. Carry limited uh, room to run up the middle. Nice tackle by number 74, Marshall Lokes, on that play. Got in there and uh, was able to knock him down. We'll call it second and 10 from the 25. Inside the 25 down to the 24 yard line. Paul Phillips had made the tackle for the Cardinals. So it'll be third and seven for the Golden Eagles. The game's opening drive. Keeping it pretty much the whole quarter here. See if they can cap off with the score. Straight drop, and they're going to run the reverse. Carter Whipler, 20, 15, so that's the first down. He's inside the 10, pushed out of bounds. Whipler with the end around. And they'll spot the ball at the six. First and goal, Golden Eagles. Well, now spotted back at the eight. First and goal from the eight. Another big conversion for the Golden big Eagles. Big conversion. Couple, Very couple nice conversions. Keep this drive alive. Two nice convert, uh, third down conversions on here long, too. Keep the ball and, more importantly, keep possession here, and the clock's moving. Offensive times this season appeared to be a little tough for the Golden Eagles to come by. They did not score more than 18 points in any regular season game and then exploded for 33 this week in this the uh, playoff win. The most they had all year, yeah. And putting together a uh, impressive opening drive to this ball game. First and goal from the eight. Four and a half minutes to play first quarter. Darrell rolls. Steps up away from the pressure, spins out of a tackle. And then will be stood up and finally taken down inside the five to the three. So a nice five yard pickup. Cole Gerald certainly not the biggest guy out not, there. <laughs> not the biggest guy at all, but boy, I tell you, I like the way he's running the football. Hard nose runner. Second and goal from the three for the Golden Eagles. Rippler splits out wide to the left. Darrell out of the shotgun, throws it left. Whipler with the catch, and he is hit immediately and taken down. Eli Somatic there defensively for the Cardinals. A loss on the play. Whipler on the reception. Simonek on the tackle. Nice play by Eli Simonek on that one. He smelled that one out and made a nice, nice play. 
It's a loss of four, so third and goal from the seven. Receivers left. Gerald hands it off, second man through Sandhoffner, and he is hit in the backfield. Evan Chain got the penetration in the initial hit. Good penetration by Chang there to knock that one down. Makes it fourth down here. Fourth and goal from the seven. Like Nolan Road had the, uh, or Benjamin Hare rather had the corner there, but Sandoffner able to just run past him and into the end zone. Golden Eagles strike first. Nice run by Mika Sandhoffer. And then unfortunately for uh, the Cardinals, it's going to be uh, unsportsmanlike on that late hit, too, I think. But uh, good start for the Golden Eagles here to take that opening drive and go down and score. And all more importantly, almost ate up the whole first quarter. So with the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty at the end of the play, the ball for this conversion attempt sits at the one and a half yard line. And uh, Dennis, good time to remind the folks at home how the conversions work. Conversions work, um, uh, you run the ball in, you get one point. If you pass the ball in, you get two points. Obviously there's no kicking for the extra point here in, in youth football. So we'll see here what they do if they go for one or go for two. Straight quarterback, keep, and uh, Gerald gets in. He is in. Oh, good. And good run. So, uh, one point conversion is good, and with a minute 44 Golden left seven. to play in the opening Cardinals quarter, zero. it is the Golden Eagles seven and the Cardinals nothing. Again, good drive, though. Uh, opening kickoff, took it down the field, uh, made the opening score. You got to be happy for the Golden Eagles right now. Nice start to this football game. Took 10 minutes and 16 seconds oh. off the clock in the process. Now that's eating up some clock, Joe. Hey, Dennis, you know, I've, I've called this Super Sunday. I'm kind of used to that, but uh, this year, a really classy move by the association. Uh, this is the Bob Jackson Championships here this Sunday. Can you speak a little to that? Yes, we uh, normally, our, our uh, Sunday championship game is called Super Sunday. This year, in honor of uh, Bob Jackson, who was the Head football coach for White Bear Lake, we're calling it the Bob Jackson Championship Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away over the summer here, which uh, unexpectedly, which is a shock to all the Bear, White Bear Lake community. So uh, in honor of him, we named our Championship Sunday the Robert Jackson uh, Championship Sunday. So in honor of him, um, we think he'd appreciate it, you know, being a longtime Bears coach. Definitely. And, and uh, I know he's going to be missed here from at White Bear, but... Uh, you know, it was one way for the board to come up and, and come up with a good idea to make a, to honor his memory. So, yeah, it was kind of a sad news that he had passed away over the summer, and um, we thought this would be a good way to do it. Golden Eagles set to uh, kick it away and uh, putting a foot into it is Cole Sather. And Line drive kickoff fielded on a hop and brought out across the 30, close to the 35 yard line before getting a Phillipson on the return. back. A return. Cardinals. Now we'll see if the uh, Cardinals can come with an answer here for a score after that impressive drive by the Golden Eagles. <clears throat> 
First and 10 from the 34 for the Cardinals. No mention that offense seemingly difficult to come by for the Golden Eagles. Same could be said for the Cardinals despite that 5 and 1 record. Yeah. High point all this season of 15. Straight quarterback option and a throwing on the That's run incomplete. was Connor Potter Wills and uh, his pass incomplete. Yeah, not a lot of scoring by either team over the regular season this year, looking at their scores throughout the year, but good start, like I said, for Golden Eagles to get up 7 nothing. Put the pressure back on the Cardinals now. Tyler Smith, the intended receiver on that incompletion. Second and 10 coming for the Cardinals. Again, we'll work out of the shotgun. High snap, hand off, get it in nicely. A nice move, Phillipson. Get some room. Well, check that, that's Nolan Road and Road. Burst into Golden Eagles territory on a first down run to the 43 yard line, which also brings us to the close of quarter number one. Your score, Golden Eagles seven, Cardinals nothing. It is the seventh grade championship game. Vision loss is not something that you feel until it happens. Most people lose their vision from diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma, not at birth. Three million Americans have glaucoma and half don't even know it. 11 million people in the United States have macular degeneration. So many eye disorders can be treated if caught early. Make a plan today to get your eyes checked. Visit brightfocus.org to learn more. First and 10 from the Golden Eagle 43-yard line following a 23-yard gain for Nolan Road. Bobbled snap and just picking that one up. He is Connor Potter Wills and that's going to be a loss of seven back to the midfield stripe. <clears throat> Not a good start here for the Cardinals on offense, but uh, back to the midfield now. Start here to the second quarter. This is Road and hanging on for dear life to bring him down at the 47 yard line. A gain of three on the play. Tackle made by Cole Sather. 55 Nolan Road's been their workhorse all throughout the year. He'll get the ball locked in. He'll hear his name. Good runner for the Cardinals. Well, I got a minute here too. I'd like to shout out to our sponsors if I could. Uh, our level two sponsors, Fred's Tire, Hogan Adams, Pods complete car care and accessories. Third and 14 for the Cardinals. Hand off to Roden, he's hitting the backfield and will be dropped back at the 49 yard line, a loss of two. Brings up fourth and 16. Turner on the stop. Anthony Turner credited with the tackle for the Golden Eagles as... See what the Cardinals are going to do here in 4th and 16th. My guess they'll go for it. And I am wrong. Good snap, nearly Whoa. blocked, but they get the punt out of there and it takes a nice cardinal bounce. And it'll roll inside the 20 and uh, come dead at the 19. 30 yard punt, no return. Golden Eagles lead at seven nothing. They'll start first and 10 from their 19. Nice punt for uh, the Cardinals there. See uh, Golden Eagles get their second possession here. See if they can move the ball, get another score.
like to mention our other sponsors here if I could. Well, I got a moment. Our level one sponsors, Beartown Lounge and Restaurant, Caldecott and Ferraro Attorneys, Carboni's Pizza, Culver's, Cup and Cone, Domino's Pizza, Fraser Automotive Service, Pitcher Place, Signature Orthodontics, Taymark, uh, Walzer Polar Chev, and White Bear Police Association. Thank you again for your sponsors sponsorship this year. second man through that time out across the 25 to the 28 yard line Kyle Christensen on the carry picks up nine Marshall Lokes again another tackle for the Cardinals boy we've heard his name a lot today too he's all over the field nice tackle to San Hoffner, avoids a tackle in the backfield, tries to reverse course, he's got a first down across the 30 and falls ahead to the 33 yard line. First down, Gold Eagles. Pretty impressive here so far by the Golden Eagles. They come out uh, definitely moving the football here. Another first down for them. Impressed with that Mike uh, Sandhoffer, good football player, fast runner, not the biggest kid yeah. in the world, but he, he really knows what to do with it when he gets it. Finds that hole. All right, defense, fire up. Turn up. Oh, let's get up. Pitch comes back. And all across the 35 to the 37 goes Christensen. Barber on the stop. Earl was kind of lucky to get that pitch away. He, he sure was. was. Yep. <laughs> Converged upon quickly. Sure was. Again, another another five yard gain here in first down too. It's always nice when you get you know four, five, six yards in first down. It makes everything else a lot easier. Again, running the option, he'll keep it this time, and he's got some room around the right side, and he falls into uh, Cardinal territory at the 49. That's a gain of 14, and another Golden Eagles first down. <laughs> Making it look easy right now. Now they're past the midfield here, driving again, once again, on the Cardinals. Steps up, his pass oh. is intercepted, threw it right to uh, Simonic and Eli Simonic. Returns it back to the Golden Eagles, 39-yard line. Boy, not sure where he was throwing the football there. That that was right to the Cardinal player, Simonic. Out mistake by the Golden Eagles. So the Cardinals defense comes up with the first turnover of this game. They trail at seven to nothing, 550 and counting left to play in the opening half. Jaden Kretsch and Kretsch finds a little crease up the See middle for two. Gets a second and eight. Gets a couple yards up the middle there. 
hurry up here a little bit now for the Cardinals. And off to Road. He cuts it back up the middle and Road. Road on the carry. Down to the 35 yard Sailor line. Picks up a stop. couple more. That'll set up third and six for the Cardinals. but now tucking, throwing on the run, and it is incomplete. Again, intended for Tyler Smith, who had kind of stopped the route when he saw Otto Wills take off with it. Pretty pass, nice spiral, mm -hmm. but unfortunately missed the mark. <laughs> so it'll be fourth and six for the Cardinals. Upon boy, nice play by 91 and 78 there. And the Andrew Adams got Ball in there over. quickly. Austin Gibson too, nice play. They smelled that one out. Good defensive stop for the Golden Eagles here. Now turn over here, turns it over to the Cardinals, or turns it over to uh, the Golden Eagles now. They'll start first and ten from their 40. time clock until the final two minutes of the half so we're under 330 to play in that opening half seven nothing golden eagles they swing it back out and hit immediately that time is christensen that play was going nowhere at all too much penetration there the cardinals got in there a little bit too deep and were able to stop that one no problem Back to the 38, second and 12 here for the Golden Eagles. The late handoff, Christensen, and Christensen slowed up, tripped up. He's up near the 48, he picks up 10. It'll be third and two. Third and two, here we go. snap. Gerald tries the left side. He gets tripped up and then a drop. He got to the 49. Picked up one. Still a yard short. Still a yard short. 78 for uh, the Cardinals having a good game here. Evan Chang, nice tackle. And time out taken by the Golden Eagles. Their first stops the clock with a minute 39 left. Good ball game so far, Joe. Pretty much what we expected. <clears throat> you kind of went through a, a number of sponsors that helped the association out. Uh, if people are interested in helping the association, getting involved, finding out the activities, uh, I'm sure there's a website out there someplace for them. Where can they find out more information? Yeah, go to uh, www.whitebearyouthfootball.org uh, and there's a link there on the website to be able to get all the information. Um, phone numbers and stuff. We certainly could use help on the board. We could use a few few people. So uh, yeah, reach out if, if you're interested. It's a lot of it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun too. So um, let us know if someone's out there is interested in being on the board and uh, and uh, we'd be more than happy to have you on, on board. Fourth and one, Golden Eagles. Right 
That did work. First down. Raiden Mensing jumps for the Cardinals and uh, Golden Eagles will take the easy first down, the five yard walk off. First down's a first down, there you go. Caught him off on the, on the quick hit there and call him. So first and 10 from the Cardinal, 46. Pitch back, San Hoffner. Looking for some room and finally, he'll be dropped back at the 49, Jack Kelsey. First one to get to him. under a minute to play in this opening half. Quickly thrown back for Carter Whipler, but Whipler is taken down at the midfield stripe and a timeout. Take it on the field, Marshall Lokes, another tackle for the Cardinals. Timeout Cardinals this time, I think. Yep, yep. yep. Their first stops the clock with 49 seconds left. Straight drop, nice ball over the middle and oh. nearly intercepted again, this time through the hands of Joey McKeague. That'll bring up fourth and 14. Nice spiral though by the young man there, nice throw. Fourth down. McKeague goes off. Still holding his head in his hands. <laughs> he would love to have that one back. Yeah. Boy, defensive player, when you see that ball coming at you, you don't want to catch that. And I say this in a general sense, but you know sometimes you play defense for a reason and uh, you're not a wide receiver for a reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's exactly right. It's almost like when a lineman, defensive lineman, gets a ball thrown at him. It's like, what's that? <laughs> Fourth and 14, Golden Eagles line up to go for it. Carroll pitches it back. And Christensen is caught, fights ahead. For a gain of about four on the play, but well shy of the first down, Cardinals will take over at their 46 with 32 and a half seconds remaining in the second quarter. Ball goes over to the Cardinals. Cardinals get the ball back on down here now. See if the coach will go for it or just trying to run out the clock. We'll see. Cardinals won the coin flip. They deferred to the second half, so they will start with the ball Come on, guys. after halftime. They could uh, do a nice little double dip here if they can do something with it. Boy, tipped. It found its way to the receiver. And now with some room as Phillips and down the sideline is that road. And then a flag comes in at the end of the play. It was Nolan Road on the receiving end. I think it might be unsportsmanlike. I think on the on the uh, Cardinals or Golden Eagles, a hit in the back. See what the call is. The play an 18-yard gain. I think they're gonna attack some more on. Yeah, 
Ouch. You can kind of see that hit in the back there. Like. So they add on, uh, attack on another 15 with the hit out of bounds and uh, an 18 yard play, the 15 yard penalty, and suddenly you're sitting first and 21 at the Golden Eagles 21 yard line. They also put 34 seconds on the, the clock. Back on the clock, too, yes. So there you Good shape here. Go for a tying score. Cardinals do have two timeouts remaining. Straight keep, hustling out to the far side. Potta Wills trying to turn the corner. 20, 15, runs out of bounds at the 14 yard line. That's a gain of seven. Stops the clock at 26.2. Nice run, the left side, approach the first Ooh, down marker hairy. before he's pushed back. Got to the 12, Cardinals call their second time out facing third and one, 18.1 seconds left on the clock. Very few mistakes, a couple penalties. But. Otto Wills to the corner now, throws on the run in the end zone. In and oh, of Smith. I thought he had it. Thought he had it. No, he definitely dropped the football. Be fourth and one Cardinals. That was a nice pass was on nice the pass. run, yep. thrown you know against normal, <laughs> you know. Against the grain there a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it hit him right in the hands too. I thought I actually thought he pulled it in, then look at like he just lost control as he's going down. Well, it'd be nice if Cardinals like to score here though. Wiles running right now, drops, drops the ball, flag came in, ball still loose, and will end up going out of bounds. So the Golden oh, Eagles will get the ball on downs, but. There is a flag. Oh, yep, they were holding on the Cardinals. So yeah. Pretty much cements it. The cements Golden it. Eagles will get the ball. And there's still a couple seconds on the clock, too. Okay. So the Golden Eagles will obviously get the ball back here. I'm not sure what that play was going to be, if he was going to throw it or do some flea flicker, but looks like he just lost control of it and put it on the turf. So missed opportunity there for the Cardinals. See if it comes back to bite him at the end here. Yes. Old Needles just need to snap this one and kneel it down kneel to it get down. to halftime that's, with a 7 nothing lead. That's definitely what I'd do. Sandhofner and Sandhofner with a nice run he is taken down after a gain of about 14 but we do hit halftime 
of this seventh grade championship game. Your score, the Golden Eagles seven, the Cardinals nothing as you watch the White Bear Lake Youth Football Championships. The seventh grade championship game can be viewed on Comcast Channel 19. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Welcome back, fans, as we kick off the second half of this seventh game of championship series. A rolling kickoff picked up. Pot of Wiles will be taken down at about the 27-yard line. Gibson with the tackle. Expecting a good uh, second half here. This has been a good ball game so far. Austin Gibson got downfield to make the tackle on Potta Wills. Cardinals trail at seven to nothing, starting first and 10, ball just shy of their 28 yard line. It's our third game in a row here today with a one seed versus a two seed and the, we're three for three where the one seed has failed to score in the first half of each of these championship games. That's correct. Yep. And off goes to Jaden Kretsch and Kretsch. Kretsch on the carry. Gets a short gain on the play. Give him a yard, it'll be second and nine Cardinals. In a hurry up mode here for the Cardinals. Nolan rode the carry. Rode on the carry. He's across the 30. They'll spot it out close to the 32. Give him three on that carry. And it's third and six as the Cardinals again quick to the line. This time out of the shotgun. Pulling off the pass is complete. Smith across the 40 45 and is going to step out of bounds in Golden Eagles territory at the 47 yard line. Nice play there, well-conceived play by the Cardinals. Nice throw and catch. Big guard. First down for the Cardinals, maybe they got something cooking here. Taken down for no gain. Brady Rudiman uh, running out there to make the uh, tackle for the Golden Eagles. Offense. 
And off a row, trying to bounce it out to the left. He gets back to the line of scrimmage before he's taken down. Roll around the carry. Andrew Adams and Aiden Aikens combined to bring him down. Adams on the stop. Nice tackle for the Golden Eagles there for very little game. It's been tough going for the Cardinals today. Offensively, haven't been able to really get anything going. Third and 11 for the Cardinals, opening drive of the second half. Pump fake by some time. Now he starts out down the sideline. Ooh, big collision oh, right about the carry. 43. Potawills short of the first down. Nice run by Potawill, though. Boy, he's got some speed. He gets to that outside, and he can turn on the Jets. Nice run. Fourth and eight. Cardinals as they spot the ball back at the 45. Obviously, he's going to be going for it. He's calling a play, so. Rolls, wants to run. Oh, he gets oh, nice. caught and spun down. Aiden Aikens, beautiful open field tackle. Nice open field tackle by Aikens there to stop the, the progression Golden there. So Eagles take over on downs down for downs. Golden Eagles. Another nice stop defensively, though, for the Golden Eagles here. So the Golden Eagles take over first and 10 from their 45 yard line. They lead this one 7 to nothing. Seven minutes left to play in the third quarter. Pitch to Sandhoffner, and he steps out at the 47 after a gain of two. Jack Kelsey was there to make sure there was no more advancement. back for Christensen. Christensen ran out of one tackle, spins out of a second, and then a whole lot of red jerseys wow. still having difficulty yeah. bringing him down. As he's carrying half the team with him, nice run by Christensen. Looks at him uh, at the line of yep. scrimmage or for a short loss, but... That's determination. Way to keep moving your feet. They say that, just keep moving your feet. Way to go, move forward. Nice run. Results Third and manageable here now. Yeah, yeah. Four yard gain, mm -hmm. so. Out of the gun. Gerald running left <clears throat> and gets caught and taken down. Lokes is there again. Looks at a tackle. Simonek was there as well for the Cardinals, and that'll bring up fourth and three. Come on, guys. 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 Come
Ed Sam Elfner trying to get to the corner now cuts back. And he is going to be a stop short. Yep. Golden Eagles are going to take over on downs here. Nice stop. Yeah. So the Cardinals, no, Cardinals are going to stop, get yeah. the ball back. They'll start first and 10 from their 47 yard line. It's a good thing this is a turf field, Dennis. They'd be oh. ripping up the middle of this field here. Boy, this one. How, how what it was this morning. Now the field actually look, looks beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like it was even played on. Yeah. It would be a mess. Taken down. Grabbed by the jersey. Rick Deutsch brought him down the sack back at the 38. Nice sack by number 70, Rick Deutsch. Way to get in there, blow that play up, and get a big sack here for uh, <clears throat> Golden Eagles. Loss of nine on the play, second and 19 for the Cardinals. See him up the middle trying to bounce out to the right and chase down Cole Sather. Gets him back at the 34 yard line. And the Cardinals are going backwards here. Yeah, third and, this and 22. Third and 22. to the 38-yard line. Aiken's on the stop. Taken down there by Brady Rudeman. Fourth and a lot. Line up to go for it out of the gun. A lot of wills. Pulls up, throws over the middle. It is incomplete. Oh. Looked like he had it in his hands and just dropped it there at the last moment. Wouldn't have been a first down anyway, but. Nolan Rowe did have it in his hands. He yep. kind of had it trapped against the defender's helmet, it yeah. looked like. And uh, as they fell, just couldn't. But it followed out. Throws a nice ball. He does. Not the biggest kid in the world, but boy, throws a nice football. Pretty shifty. So again, the Golden Eagles take over on downs. But this time, uh, thanks to some stout defense, they are in Cardinals territory to start this drive first and 10 from the 38 yard line. Really good field position here to say the least. I mean, this is really good. Puts the uh, Cardinals kind of in a hole here. They got to make a stop. We're kind of getting to the end of the third quarter. And this will likely be the last play of the quarter. This game's zipping right on by for sure. Old Eagles out of the shotgun. Pass near side Ooh. is a tipped away. 
Road got a hand on it. Pass was intended for Kyle Blue. We have hit the end of quarter number three. The score remains Golden Eagle seven, Cardinals nothing. Fancy Pants Peanut Butter? A big screen television? You haven't even bought a sofa yet. A motorcycle? When your father finds out, he's gonna flip his shoes with two buckles? What do you even need two buckles for? Mr. Big Shot, buying whiskey shots for everybody in the bar. From the looks of it, I'd say nobody even remembers. Feed the pig. As we begin quarter number four, second and ten, a Golden Eagles. Pitch to Christensen, caught in the backfield, ran out of the tackle by Lokes, and then darts ahead and gets down to the 35 yard line for a gain of three. Boy, I tell you, that was a play that looked like it was going to be for a loss and then missed opportunities, a couple of missed tackles by um, the Cardinals there to make it a positive game. Nice play. Just want to take this opportunity to thank our broadcast team today, Channel 19, for being here. Thank you very much. Our uh, stream partner, MS MSBN Sports Network. Out of Hudson, thank you for coming and streaming the game live today. Appreciate it. Third and six, handoff. Sandhofer, big hole up the middle, bounces it out to the left, cuts back again at the 25, starts ahead, and is taken down at the 23-yard line. It's a gain of 11, first down, Golden Eagles. Nice run, go to Golden Eagles. First and 10 from the 23. Gerald rolls oh, right. Throws it out to oh. the right and overshoots. Kyle Blue That's with the pass, complete. incomplete, second and 10. He knew he missed him too. If he had a, he 67 was open there. If he could just hit him with that pass, he would have had a nice positive yardage. Flat out dismissed him. A little bit surprised. I mean, it was relatively low scoring, but looking at the season, it looks like they were having some issues scoring anyway. But. Well, the feel is the Golden Eagles who can have controlled this game for the most part. Yeah, I, th I think that's real fair to say, honestly. Yeah. But, uh, Golden Eagles have definitely it, been the better team today. Now, again, we're not done. But. And it's just a one-play game. It's just a one-play and off, Sandhoffner, and he gets hit and taken down. Taken down by Trevor Andres. Andres with the tackle. Those kind of the Cardinals are kind of like bent, but they really haven't broke yet. You know what I mean? They're just yeah. nothing. They're just one score away here. So this is a big series. They like to keep them out of the end zone. Third and nine for the Golden Eagles. We send two receivers to the left in this set. And off, Sandhoffner bounces it back to the left, and he is taken down by Lokes. Sandhoffner on the carry. 
Lopes on the side. Oh, I tell you what, I like number 74, Lopes. He looks good out there. We've said his name a few times today on defense. Good player. And that's what makes this so much fun is you may see some of these names again next year on Championship Sunday, but uh, you'll often see the guys that stand out here four or five years down the road playing on this field for real again. Yep. Fourth and nine going for it straight keep. Oh. And flying in was Lokes again. To nice. take down hey. Gerald. Short of the first down and the Cardinals take over. See? I mean they're right right there. Good good stop right there for the Cardinals. Looked like the Golden Eagles were gonna go in and score and they made a stiffened up and made a nice stop. I'm not sure for where Lokes came from, but boy, he stream in there quickly. He's like one of those heat-seeking missiles that just uh, yeah, you gets know, locked on target and can't miss. One of those players that has a knack for the game. Wherever the ball is, that's where he's going to be. You know, he's right there. Real impressed with him. Unfortunately for the Cardinals, time is going to become an issue here. We're down to 7:20 to play in the fourth quarter. Ottawa's hands it off. And out across the 20 to about the 22 yard line. Road on the goes Nolan Road. It's a good start though. Good run there. Five yards off first down. From Coach Paulwell, don't panic. You got plenty of time. Right, throws it out to the right, and it is incomplete. Intended for Smith, but attempting the interception uh, was Kyle Christensen for the Golden Eagles. Keep right up the middle, Potawills. Is out to about the 28, pretty close We're to a first down. I haven't seen, oh, they did. I was going to say, I haven't seen an official, but they did make it first down. Good. Nice run. So they moved the ball and the chains. Boy, just kind of that quick snap, and uh, center and quarterback were really the only two prepared right there. Now back out of the gun as Potter Wills. No, it's a pass, and this one is, is intercepted. Intercept. No, well, intercepted, yes, it is. Nice. Ball was intercepted. Sather comes up with the interception for the Golden Ball Eagles. Ball Big play. Nice, nice catch by Sather there for the interception for the Golden Eagles. Boy, now if they can drive it in now, it could be it. They'll start first and 10 from the Cardinal 30. A little bit of trickery is that snap went straight to Nolan Road. Yeah, it did, yeah. And then it, was, it looked like it was intended back for the quarterback. Um, but I'm not sure, Paul, Paul Lewis. Five ten left to play in regulation time. 7-0 Golden Eagles, and they're sitting pretty at the Cardinal 30. Gerald throws out to the right. It is caught at the 20, fighting for some extra yards, and finally Blue going down is catch. Kyle Blue. A gain of 11. Nice throw and catch again there by the Golden Eagles. Really good shape now. Boy, Andrew Adams going for the jugular here. Didn't expect the pass on first down Didn't there. Didn't expect it either. Nope. Dropped in very nicely. Beautiful pass there from uh, Gerald. You almost have a feeling he can sense it now. Yeah. 
Hand off sand over bounces the back oh. to the left. And, oh, Lokes comes guess you hit him. Oh, oh Lokes man. again. Man. What a player. And after nose pick up three on the play, but he paid the price. He did. He really did. He got hit hard. That's football. Yeah. I like to see those nice hard hitting, clean hits. You know, that's yep. gonna keep teach them with their head up and make a nice tackle. You know, and that's really one of the big things for coaches at this level to do is to teach. The technique. proper technique yeah. like that. We really stress that on the board too, trying to teach technique, avoid some of those concussion issues. Second and seven, kind oh. of a bobbled snap. Now it's thrown back. That's, That's a, a fumble. fumble. Yes, it was. Yeah. Christensen able to pounce on it before guess who was in the backfield yeah. looking for right. it. He's going to need a couple of ice packs. All the action he's had today. Wow, that was a, a, a backward pass though. So that would have been a fumble. Huh? Cardinals call a timeout. That stops the clock with 325 left to play and the Golden Eagles facing a third and we'll call it 13. Third and 13 out of the time all Golden Eagles from the Cardinal 23 yard line. Gerald out of the shotgun. Hands it off. Whipler on the reverse flag comes in. And Whipler gets it inside the 20, not too far past that. Well short of the first down, but I'm curious to see what the flag is. Oh, it's against the Golden Eagles. Clock stops with 3.15 to play, and that's a factor in this penalty, a block in the back. And they'll decline it to set up the fourth down as opposed to an extra play being run, I'm guessing is the thought process yep. there. Smart, I would have done the same, same thing. It's fourth and long anyway, so yeah. And of course, Golden Eagles really don't care about the play. They just want to eat some more clock up here. And if I was them, I'd actually even run it, just run it. So fourth and ten for the Golden Eagles. Gerald looking left, plenty of time, throws it deep over the middle. He, he did catch it. I thought he caught it. He did. And it Whoa. is a touchdown. Golden Eagles nice. Carter hey. Whippler. I wasn't sure either, Joy. He, he did catch it. Nice play. Well, that might do it. No flags, right? No, no flags. All right. Nice well, catch. Wow. Very those nice. Of, those of you yeah. on TV 19 that can see the replay, yeah, I'd love to see, see a that, replay of it right too. now. That's one thing I miss. See that replay. So 13 nothing, Golden Eagles pending the conversion. Just 236 left, and that might be enough. That might do it. Another one seed might go go by the wayside. Mm 
and off Sandhofener looking uh, for a hole someplace and just is not there. Andres not, a, him down. not a real big deal there anyway, but yeah, still 13 nothing, still a two possession game, so. Have to be a quick score and then an onside kick. But. Yeah, another good football game, though. As we wind down the seventh grade game, exciting. Some good plays. These two teams a split. The two games they played during the regular season, which was the only loss the Cardinals suffered. Yep. Which was the second to last game, yeah. So a tiebreaker for the season series just happens to come in the championship game. game, kind of a winner take all type of scenario. Kickoff comes through is picked up by Jack Kelsey and Kelsey taken down. They'll mark it at the 39 yard line. You have a sense of Golden Eagles can sense it now, though. A lot of Will's hands up on the reverse. It's Eli Simonick and Simonick are on the left end. Oh, get out of bounds. He did not, I don't think. Simonick on the carry. 12 yard gain on the play, but yeah. Failed to get out of bounds yeah, on that on one. So as the chains get set, the clock starts back up. We're down to a minute 20 left in this one. Running out of options. And finally does run out of time and <laughs> lose the ball out of bounds. But tried to stop the clock by flipping it out, and the referees didn't fall for that one. <laughs> and a timeout taken by the Cardinals. Stops oh, the clock with 56.6 left. Again, Joe, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank you for doing the broadcast today with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for your help. I know whenever we call on you, you're always there to come on out and help us out, so. My pleasure. Thanks to our new streaming partner, MSB, MSBN out of Hudson. Thanks again, John, for coming on. Appreciate it. And of course, TV19, who's been doing this forever. Don't take it for granted, but we like it. Thank you. Well, on behalf of those watching and those not associated or uh, part of the day-to-day -day operations of the association, uh, thank you guys for putting on another fine season, Dennis. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Hope the kids all had a good time and good year. Jailbreak Oof. blitz. Pottawill's dancing and is going to be taken down back at the 36. See those two big boys coming at you. It's Ooh. like, <laughs> okay, well, I'm going down. Andrew Adams will get credit for that sack. And it doesn't, yeah, he's not getting even called in there. Pretty much conceded. Pot of Wills, deep downfield, and that one is intercepted by Aiden Akins. And Aikens uh, 
returns it back to the Cardinal 30-yard line. Just 10 ticks left on the clock, and the Golden Eagles will have themselves a championship here at the seventh grade level. Seventh grade championship has been determined. Very good game. Well deserved. I, you know, looking at it, you know, it's a two seed. I understand that, but uh, Golden Eagles are better today. No question about it. They dominated. I thought the game, and uh, they were just a better team. This Golden Eagle defense. This will complete their third straight shutout. So uh, quite a way no to fluke. end the yeah, season. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's obviously yeah. That's right. Look at it. It'd be the third straight shutout. Yeah. That's when you peak too. You know. That's it. That's you do it. So the snap. Gerald kneels it down, and that will do it. The Golden Eagles, the two seed, knock off the number one seed Cardinals. A final score of 13 to nothing, and the Golden Eagles are your 2018 seventh grade champions. Trophy ceremony very shortly. That will do it here from White Bear Stadium. Our thanks to you for joining us. For Dennis Jansen, my name is Joe Moore. Have a great day, everyone.